My name's Elissa. I live on the fifth floor and I'm the 270 Hall Council president. Awesome. What is the last thing you watched on TV and why did you watch it? Oh no. Um, the last thing I probably watched on TV was Once Upon a Time. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, it's kind of how I unwind, you know. Yeah. I'm not really like a TV person. <laughs> uh, I have a few shows I like to watch, just like, you know, to unwind at the end of the day. Cool. Um, <laughs> what inspires you? Musically or just in general? In general. Uh, oh, musically. Whatever you want to answer. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a little intense. All right. Um, no, I feel like as far as like being a musician and being in Berkeley, seeing like the impact that music has on people is so inspiring in so many different settings. Like, you know, going busking or doing performances or just like you know jamming with people. It's just like it's it's such like a unifying thing, and I feel like that inspires me to keep going even when I have a lot of stuff to do or you know I'm kind of overwhelmed. It's something that definitely keeps it going, knowing that I can be a part of bringing that to people and sharing that connection with people. Estimate how many windows are in New York City. Ooh, um, <laughs> well, I mean, if we're gonna go, we wanna do like per cap, but I'm gonna say most people have like two, three windows in their apartment maybe. So we got eight million people, I'm gonna say like, it's gonna be like triple digit millions of windows maybe. <laughs> Maybe Good. like a hundred million windows. I don't know. Solid. At least seven. <laughs> At least seven. That, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, describe the color yellow to somebody who's blind. Um, I guess it's a little shocking. It's, see, I can't use the word bright because that wouldn't really mean anything. That's a visual term. So I guess it's a little shocking. It's a little intense. Um, it can be kind of mellow depending on the hue, I guess. But, you know, I can't describe it using terms like, you know, like sunlight and stuff because that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, I guess it's a little, um, it's a little intense. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to get rid of one state in the U.S., which would it be and why? Oh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I feel like every state in the U.S. has something really cool about it. Like, I've always wanted to just go to every state and see. I feel like this country has so many beautiful things that I want to see everything. So I feel like every state has something to offer. Um, I don't think I feel okay getting rid of a U.S. state. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're all supposed to be united. <laughs> we'll, we'll allow it. Um, <laughs> Michael Scott or Leslie Nope? I'm not really understanding that reference. Is Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec? My yeah. sister likes that show. I'll go with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember the name of every teacher you've had from kindergarten to eighth grade? I'm going to go for it. All right. All right. Kindergarten, I had Miss Nikki. First grade, I had Ms. Gula. Second grade, I had Ms. Burfind. Do you want me to literally go up the list? Yeah, girl. Third grade, I had Ms. Kelly. Fourth grade, Ms. Redden. Fifth grade, Ms. Pintus. Uh, sixth grade, well, sixth grade, it was like multiple teachers. My homeroom was Ms. McCormack. Seventh grade, Mr. Presida was my homeroom. Eighth grade, no, seventh grade, Mr. Shriner was my homeroom. Eighth grade, Mr. Presida was my homeroom. Yeah. Nice. But I had a lot of different teachers in middle school. I there got a good memory. It. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Does it bother you that the word bass is spelled B-A-S-S? -S? Um, no, because I think it helps differentiate between B-A-S-E and B-A-S-S. -S. English there. language makes no sense. I think it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? Ooh, NSYNC. Nice. <laughs> Do you think cronuts are trying too hard or are you all about them? Is that a croissant donut? Yes. I don't really like hyperfoods. I'm like the kind of person where like, I don't want to eat other things on top, like if, like you know those milkshakes where it's like there's a cupcake in it. It's like I just want a milkshake, or I just I'm not into like hybrid food. So yeah, I think it's a little much. I'm just I'm, into like I want to eat simple things, you know. Like I'm very simple, yeah. you know. <laughs> like I just want a cupcake. I don't need it on top of a milkshake with like a slice of cake on it. With like you know, I don't. Right. I'm very simple. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had to get a pet that was not a cat, a dog, or a fish, what would you get? Ooh. Um, maybe a bird. I love birds. Aww. They're so adorable. Like I, I get so happy when like I see little sparrows and things. <laughs> they make my day. They're so cute. Um, if you could choose any fast food restaurant to start offering delivery, which one would it be? I'm not a big fast food person. Maybe Shake Shack if that counts. Ooh. Panera. Ooh. Shake Shack and Panera. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Pineapple and pizza. No. Oh, good. I'm from New York City. It's like, that's like a moral sin. It's a moral <laughs> sin. It's pizza should not have anything except pizza ingredients on it. Fair. Certain I agree. things are acceptable, like, you know, chicken on pizza and like, 
like vegetables on pizza, things like that. That's pretty good. But like fruit does not belong. I mean, tomatoes are fruit technically, but <laughs> tropical fruits do not belong on pizza. Good. Final question. <laughs> Favorite holiday? Um, I like Christmas a lot. Um, I love Halloween. I just love Halloween season and I love Christmas season. Um, I don't know if I can pick a favorite holiday. I just really, I like, I like how it feels around Halloween and Christmas. I feel like it's a very um, special time of year. Nice. Um, I like when people are feeling kind of in, you know, in good spirits and people can share. I just love like sharing good moments with people. So I feel like Halloween, uh, Halloween, thanks, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Christmas, give a good opportunity to do that. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Your president, Alyssa Silverman. <laughs>